So today we're in a facility where they take the raw yarn and weave it into the specialized fabrics that we use. So we're going to take you through the process today. We're going to see some really amazing equipment and show you how they put it together into what becomes our garments. I'm always so blown away with the facilities here in Japan, how clean they are. I mean, they're spotless. They just showed us how the yarn's delivered to them in these crates from Torre. And then they're gonna spool it, and this is all done through robotics. It's all automated. And they pull it the yards into the spools into these racks here, where they'll then take it and weave it. So this is a machine applying hot glue to, looks like 1,400 pieces of yarn that's going into this getting glued here with hot glue and then sque basically squeegeed off and pulled through this machine, which is an oven that's gonna cure the glue and attach it. So they have eight spools, the thousand threads on each spool. Basically making a fabric out of 8,000 threads that then pulls into this spool. Once all those spools are pulled together, this machine now separates it and prepares it for weaving. So it's got to separate out every single yarn. Right now it's separating out 7,480 different yarns so they can be prepared to go on the weaving machine. God, whoever thought making fabric was easy, this is an, such an impressive operation. So much to it. So this machine then takes each individual yarn and is going to attach this part to it so it can be set up in the machine and pulled through the machine to weave. This is separating out 10,000 yarns. They were saying 30 years ago, this is all done by hand. I can imagine that job, how patient you have to be, because this is, we're talking about these individual yarns getting pulled into that machine. It's crazy. All right, we weave a fabric together. We have the warp, which is a big spools of fabric, and then we have to pull a fabric across those strands of fabric, and that's called the weft. And what you saw in the water jet process was it's shooting a yarn of fabric woven through the, each individual strand that creates the weft. And if you saw the nozzles where it was shooting multiple fabrics, we were creating a mini ripstop. So it was shooting another yarn of fabric intermittently to create a mini ripstop fabric. Pretty amazing. Now we're going to see the air jet, and it requires a more textured yarn for the air to grab onto that yarn to pull it across. So we use textured yarn in some of our fabrics, gives a little softer hand feel, and that's what's going on in here. The single puff of air that blows that yarn across that entire machine and gets it in between but a thousand strands of yarn. And what is so amazing about and different about Japan is just their quality and their respect for the process and how they do things. It's, there's so much pride of ownership and craftsmanship. Talk to any of the employees here, they've spent their life here. I mean, they don't jump around different companies. This is just what they do. And it makes such a difference in the quality of fabrics that we, we get out of Japan.